listen to this. My friend is such a liar. She showed me this clay pot and she said that she uses it for slow cooking. <laughs> what a crock. Hello everyone, my name is Christine and welcome to today's crock pot slash slow cooker slash clay pot video. I have four amazing recipes to feed a family using your slow cooker. All of the recipes will be down in the doobly-doo and if you want to win a $50 Amazon gift card from today's video, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below and I will pick someone from the comments to win an Amazon gift card. You can say anything you want. You could say crock pots are awesome. You could say instant pots are better. You can say, don't take my air fryer from me. You could say, Christine, what lovely earrings. It does not matter, whatever you want. Without further ado, let's get slow cooking. Oh, you want a pizza casserole? No problemo. I am going to take one pound of ground beef and I'm not gonna cook it. I'm not even gonna mush it up. I'm just gonna dump it in there. In fact, I think I will rename this lazy pizza casserole. That's what we're gonna do. Lazy pizza casserole. One chopped onion, two small cans or one large can of pizza sauce. Right on top, just like that. One can of the pantry staple cream of mushroom soup. If it doesn't come out, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is it a Dairy Queen blizzard and they flip it upside down and you know the quality's good or is it concerning? I mean, what do you, what do you think? You guys wanna make bets on whether this can is expired or not? If you think this can of cream of mushroom soup is expired, give this video a thumbs up. Let's take a look, see on the back. Oh, 2018! <laughs> it's gotta be fine. There are more guidelines than actual rules. One package of your favorite pepperoni. This is, how big is this? Six ounces of pepperoni. I ripped the thing. Why is it? I have a defective one. Bloop. That's like all she wrote, guys. I guess I could spread it out a little bit. We're gonna cook this on high for a couple of hours. We're just trying to get all these flavors to come together and for my ground beef to cook. Then we'll come back in with our meat masher, mash this all up, and we will cook our pasta separately when it's time to serve. So, lid on, see you later. Don't wanna be shy. If you have smaller kids, this piece of casserole would easily feed eight people. If you have bigger kids like mine, it's closer to six people or if you have people that eat a lot, but it's delicious and you need to try it. Kielbasa sandwiches. This requires almost no ingredients at all and is seriously the ultimate throw and go. What I have right now are three ingredients before we add our kielbasa and that is all. One can of pineapples. I have the crushed pineapples, but you could use the tidbits. I probably wouldn't go with the huge chunks because that won't fit on your sandwich very well. Quarter cup of brown sugar, two bottles of chili sauce. What's the difference between chili sauce and ketchup? Who knows the answer to that? I mean, it looks super similar to me. This is going to get a little bit of a stir with Mr. Smiley. These spoons are available on Amazon and I have been using them for about ah, 10 to 15 years and it just makes you happy, right? To like have someone smiling at you in the kitchen. Last step, the only prep work I did to my kielbasa was to cut it in length wise enough that it would fit on my uh, buns that I got and then slice them in half so they'll fit on the sandwich better. But I'm basically just throwing these in here. That's it. <laughs> lid on and cook on low for three to four hours or you can keep it on warm for a couple of hours. This is great for a come and go kind of a dinner or some kind of a party where maybe a potluck where it just needs to stay warm. It doesn't need to be hot right away. Let's plug it in and I'll see you later. Phone is ringing, always at a bad time. Every time you flash your name. Always leaving, then you got me chasing. You like I'm the one to blame. For 
dinner tonight in my handy dandy slow cooker, we will make a meatball soup. And this is truly a throw and go. The only prep you need to do is to chop one onion. There it is. Any color is fine. And two to three cloves of garlic. And if you don't want to chop those, get one of those squeezy tubes. I don't have that. So I actually did chop my garlic today. There it goes. Next up, two cans of chili beans. And because it has a pop top, I don't even have to like get out a can opener. Highly convenient. Chili beans is not something I buy very often. Do you buy this often? What do you typically use this on? Cause I normally just use dried beans that I cook myself. So this is, this is branching out for me. About 30 ounces of beef broth. Usually I use the bouillon stuff, but I am out of it right now. So we will use this one. One jar of whatever spaghetti sauce you want. I just happen to have a bunch of these ragu in my food storage from an awesome Ibotta deal several months ago. So this is a great way to use it up. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I don't really measure this. I think Worcestershire is kind of like vanilla and brown sugar, like a little bit is good, more is better. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I'm gonna eyeball this today, no need to measure. That's about a teaspoon. Green smiley face spoon in the house. Give this a little bit of a stir before we add our last three ingredientes. Time for the meatballs. I have two pounds of fully cooked Italian style meatballs just from Wally's World. One bag of mixed vegetables. And four cups of cabbage. I didn't feel like chopping a cabbage, so I got this bag of coleslaw. It'll work just fine. There are a ton of veggies in this soup and I'm using an eight quart slow cooker. And look at this, we are almost at the top. So I would not make this in a smaller one unless you probably half the recipe. Get some of that down in there. Like look how full this is. And the cabbage, well most of the vegetables are gonna cook down and release a lot more water. Don't forget, you can always take the lid off and turn this on high to evaporate some of the extra liquid. Lid on, cook it on low for nine to 10 hours or high for five to six hours. See you in a few. effort to get rid of the rest of the round steak that I have in my freezer, we will do an Asian style round steak. In here, to be more efficient, I'm going to mix up my sauce ingredients and put my round steak on top. Three stalks of chopped celery, one cup of chopped onion of your choice. I happen to have some green onions just hanging out that needed to be used, so I went with that one. A little squeeze of ginger, just because I like it. Actually, that's kind of a lot. That's probably a tablespoon. <laughs> It'll be fine. One teaspoon or so of garlic powder. I'm not gonna measure today. Don't feel like it. One quarter cup of soy sauce. You can use lower salt if you like. One teaspoon of sugar, not very much, just a little sprinkle. Half a teaspoon of salt. A half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna use these crushed red pepper flakes because I like them. Give it a little bit of a stir. Put your round steak on top. This is two pounds of round steak. It's still pretty frozen. So I'm gonna put the lid on, put it on high, and cook it for four hours. Here come the rest of the veggies. I have one red and green bell pepper sliced, one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, one can of drained bean sprouts, one can of drained water chestnuts. If you like water chestnuts, give this video a thumbs up. I like how crunchy they are. I'm gonna put the lid back on. These are gonna go for about another hour. While these cook, I'm going to slice my round steak and throw it back in as soon as it is sliced. We are done with the cooking portion of the video. If you have kids in your family, you are definitely going to want to try out the pizza casserole. How can you go wrong? Basically, you take anything that is pizza, mush it together into any sort of casserole, slow cooker meal, sandwich, wrap, quesadilla. If it's pizza, the kids will like it. I am telling you every time. And then the meatball soup is an 
excellent way to get in a ton of vegetables. You don't have to use the vegetables that I showed you, although you could, you can put whatever vegetables you like in there and make it according to your family's desires, taste preferences, diet restrictions, and or needs. Recipes down below in the box if you wanna go check them out and the crock pots that I used in this video, I will leave those linked down below as well. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you a playlist down below of the previous crock pot videos that I have done. So if you have not seen those, I will have a menagerie of videos for you to go and watch. Thanks for hanging out with me and Christine out. I'm gonna do something special for you guys. I'm gonna wrap. I know, hold on to your hats. Told you I'ma make keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's Why on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up. <laughs>